Howdy, y'all. I'm around the wheel. You're watching 46 Okanen Minogatari, the Shinkaron. Last time we took a rest stop here in the Cave of Wonders. What's this little guy doing here? Uh, not much of anything, it looks like. And full disclosure, this is the point where, from which I no longer know much of anything about the game. Uh, if it seemed like I knew what I was doing in the first chapter, at least nominally, that's because that's as far as I played. But from here on out, it's all new to me as well. It's more than disgusting, really. Oh yeah, we talked to him last time about the Eustheropterons flopping up on land and getting weird superpowers, that's right. Well, we seem to be surrounded by family in this cave, so all is well, it seems. No one bad comes here, it's relaxing, and it's a really great place to live. Eh, I think I'm destined for greater things. Uh, like getting out of here, maybe. I cannot cross the waterfall. I can't, I can't jump the one square uh, gap over to there. But I can walk up ramps. The wonders of evolution, truly. I'm an ichthyostega, born and raised. Yep, you sure are. That's all you're ever going to be. Are you looking for the flower of evolution? You should give up. Boy, ichthyostegas are some lazy folks, I tell you what. So many of our friends have gone missing after going off searching for it. Well, that doesn't mean I'm going to suffer the same fate. I'm going to find the Flower of Evolution. It's got to be somewhere... Maybe it's even somewhere in this very cave. Ah, another Elder. I'm the Kindly Amphibian. Yep, that's me. Your neighborhood-friendly amphibian man. Yeah, yeah, I kind of gathered that. We've journeyed far in search of the rumored Flower of Evolution, and yet... Les sigh. No, they don't. They do nourish me, however. Okay, yeah, well, I guess I could make myself at home. That's... Okay, so we have to go south to find the Flower of Evolution. According to the map in the upper left corner, we are at the way tippy top of the continent, so... Looks like we've got quite a ways to go before we find any, any evolutionary things. Flowers or... Or otherwise... So we're out here on the land now. Alright. What's going on out here? Do I need to... Oh. Ouch. Am I in uh, Bad Times Town? It looks like I'm actually uh, losing a little bit of health as I move along my way. I sure am. But can I... And I don't recover by sitting still either. This could be uh, Bad Times indeed. But there's actually... Yeah, this is, uh... this is rough stuff out here. Going in the ocean doesn't seem particularly safe either. But I can do it, at least. What's up with the little pool here? Ah, oh, there's the Eusteropterons. Moving around like they talked about. Oh, and one has attacked me. I didn't even see it coming. So let's go ahead and fight it, see what happens. Well, I'm pretty strong against them for now. Wow, doing 56 damage on a Desperate. And I get 15 Evo genes per Eustheropteron. Well, I might as well sit around and fight a few of these things. Sounds like a good use of my time, actually. Well, not if I get unlucky. Oh, goodness. And you might notice the text is moving faster. That's because I found a text speed faster than zero. So, all right. I'll just let them come to me. So there are little pools that are kind of like the geysers. From the, uh-oh, I got unlucky. Actually, even an unlucky attack doesn't feel like it does a lot to me. I'm doing pretty well around here. And I can just sit around and uh, wait for a Eustheropteron to come to me. They're pretty aggressive, so I can see why the Ichthyostega might not want to come out here. But can we do anything with significant with 45 Evo genes? Let's see if we can. Uh, I don't think we can evolve yet, but we can certainly get on our way. And our evolution chart looks a lot different. It's not nearly as branching as the other one was. In fact, there are three points at the bottom. I wonder if we'll be able to move freely among those, or if any given one of them represents an evolutionary dead end. But we definitely need to get, uh... We definitely need to, uh, rise up a little. It takes 80 points from here to get to any given... 81 for every stat, except for attack. So... Doesn't take long to evolve something at all. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take some... Oh, wow, you use two at a time, too. That's a development. All right. 
I'm gonna go ahead and develop some I'm gonna go ahead and develop some vitality and endurance here and uh, we'll put the other five into wisdom why not how about not going for attack for once let's see if that helps us out so if I get if I start getting hurt I can uh well I can move through the mountains that's a bit of a shortcut okay there's another safe pool okay so I'm gonna have to find these safe pools if I hope to navigate the land properly but I should probably fighting use the Nopterons for now all right it seems like the only thing around to boot oh no once again I'm unlucky I do like the uh, Evo spread however Oh, now here they come. They are really after me now. Probably don't want to get too far away from a pool at any given point. Okay. Unlucky, as usual, it would seem. Okay. Okay, well, I can kind of stay in the pool, but also not really. Unlucky attacks. Uh, this geyser is not going to do me much good if uh, if nobody even lets me sit around for a minute. I need to get to a cave that is nice and safe. How about we go in here? Well, this place looked like it's been rocked something fierce. There are skeletons everywhere. In fact, they look like... They almost look vaguely like human remains. But I know that's not the case. Oh... Well, it looks like this little Ichthyostega has managed to putter his way to the healing pool. Yes, I'm here for you, my boy. Yes, I am a friend. I don't have much time left. Well, I'm too late to give medical attention. You're attacked and wounded by protophasma. What does that mean? Attacked by single-celled organisms? If you find your way to the Ichthyostega shrine in the north in your journeys... Tell my mother that her son is just fine. <laughs> Aw, that's the saddest little hack I've ever seen. Anything else? No, he's pretty much down for the count. Uh, so do I need to go back to the cave then and uh, tell tell about the tell about the brave Ichthyostega who who plotted blood dripping to this cave to die? Maybe I do need to go do that. Let's see if I need to go do that. Oh, well, there we go. Won't even get as far as the cave because it looks like protophasma are now everywhere. Are protophasma bugs? I thought they'd be... Okay, close ancestors to cockroaches. This swarm is carnivorous and will eat absolutely everything. Swarm headed toward the Ostega shrine next. Oh, no. Well, I better get back there then. Looks like maybe I should have spent a little bit longer grinding on Eustorophron. Oh, I still can. Well, that's good to know. Oh, there was one right there. I thought I saw something kind of moving around in the grass, but... I wasn't sure. Alright, some more jeans. It looks like there might be one in the grass right here. Oh, that's just me flopping around like a turd. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's get to the cave here. Oh, boy. There is just massacre happening everywhere. And this seemed like such a safe little haven just a few minutes ago. Well, I am going to show those protophasma what's what. I should probably take some time to do some uh, do some grinding here. Oh, well, we've got 105 Evo genes, so let's uh, play some happy music and get over to that for a minute. Got 105... I'm going to go ahead and... thought I pumped my endurance up. Did I not? Did I say no earlier when I saved? I Well, I guess we'll put it up to 195. And we'll go ahead and do the same for attack while we're at it. Uh, might as well jazz up our wisdom as well. Let's see if we can get it to the same point. Okay, we're nice and evened out. So I'm going to take... Uh, as many more as I can for endurance for five and vitality three four five and we'll get vitality up to an even 200 and this time I will be sure to keep my results 
and we'll go ahead and save them as well because I have a feeling we might be we might be in for something coming up ahead we might have to get ourselves into a little fight and it would be nice to have some some fresh genage nope just one lone ichthyostega who managed to survive everyone was killed by those insects oh this is the mother okay I lied for him. I honored his request to lie to his mother like a good little boy. Maybe she's going to keel over and give me all her genes. Hey, that's exactly what she did. <laughs> Alright, well that's awesome. How many do I get from that? So I'm going to chomp on the Ichthyostega, who gave me 36 of her Evo genes, which was a, a very generous donation to the cause. We'll go ahead and, uh, again, pump those into... Let's see, we could go 12, 12 in either direction. I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for 18 in terms of vitality and attack, however. I really want to be able to do something about these, uh, protophasma. So, yes, we're going to do that. So we're going to find the cockroaches that killed all the ichthyostega, and we are going to... We are going to rock their world. Let's go down through the trees here. We're still in Eustheropteron territory. I have a feeling... Okay, they're still going to come at me. That's fine. I am uh, I am tolerant of this for the time being. Alright. So I'm dealing 52 now. Okay, three hitting Eustheropterons and barely taking any damage. That's great. So why don't I do some grinding real quick, and then uh, when we bump up on the Protophasma, uh, then we'll really start uh, kicking this into high gear. Alright, I've got 120 Evo genes, so I think what I'm going to do now is take Endurance and Vitality as far as I can without actually evolving. So 255 for Endurance, 254 for Vitality. And I think that should still give me enough genes if I want. I think I have just enough to evolve attack at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yes, I want to evolve into Diplocallus. What is a Diplocallus? I've got a Diplocallus on my foot right now. I could really use a good rub. 50 to 60 centimeters in length. Primarily carnivorous, inhabited riverbeds and swamps. Supposedly croaked loudly like a frog and had well-developed hearing. And live from the Carboniferous to the Permian. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little Ichthyostega there on the other side of the mountain. So let's take our new, uh, let's take our new boomerang head, uh, monster. Holy cow, that, that geyser is screaming at me. So let's take our, uh, okay, well, it looks like the use of the Nocturon may want to fight. But no, I'm going to try to take on the Ichthyostega. I was just like him once. And it looks like I'm putting a pretty good dent in him. We're both going pretty hard in the paint at each other here. Oh, it's taking a defensive stance. And its defensive stance actually works out pretty well. Alright, I received 20 points of damage. Wow. And Ichthyostega actually takes a fair amount of time to take down in my current state. And still is, uh... I'm not uh, gaining any life, but I'd like to go over to this big pond over here. I should probably still work on my use the Nopteron stuff for a second. Okay, now it's 350. 352 if I want to go all in on attack. I kind of do, but also... Also, I want to make sure I can take good hits. So, I'm going to pump into Endurance for now. Yes, I'm going to pump into Endurance, and I guess I have to keep grinding on Eustonopterons. Boy, this is a this is a bit of a slower chapter so far. Okay, in just a matter of minutes, I've become strong enough to kill Eustonopterons in, like, two hits if I get a desperate attack in. And they're not even making a dent in me anymore, which tells me it's time to move on. I'm going to go ahead and evolve in a direction of both Endurance. Yes. We're going to turn into Teal Hardorphus. I, I noted that hard in the name. Am I going to be all that hard? Well, I'm a cool looking lizard, that's for sure. I inhabit bogs and swamplands. But nobody knows when I lived. 
There is not much in the way of information about me at all. See, 96 damage for a desperate attack. I am like... These guys are as wet tissue paper as the Denichthys were a few... Not that... Not all that long ago. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it... Well... Hold up a second. Looks like we might be able to get ourselves a funny if we, uh... If we, uh, try here. We, sh we shouldn't even have to try all that hard. I'd like to go in a full-on endurance direction. And let's check out one of the amusing non-standard game overs. Because when we get a chance to do that... Well, we will get a chance to do that after we, uh... Oh, it snapped at my throat and did not make a dent. My throat is impenetrable. How dare you. Alright, let's try... Let's see if we can evolve off the charts again. Oh, we evolve into K-Cops now. Oh, I thought that would take us left off the side of the chart, but now we're a big thick boy. 40 centimeters in length, a carnivore, ate fish and lived in swamps near rivers. Defended itself with its strong limbs and sturdy armored back and nocturnal, so I should probably go to sleep right about now. Actually, instead of going to sleep, why don't I go... Okay, so now it's 400 some odd... It's 400 some odd points to evolve, so I need to start pumping into... We'll go at least 300 on Vitality and Attack. And then we'll just dump the rest into Wisdom because we can. Probably need Wisdom for something. God knows what, but... We'll go check it out. And I like my build right now, so I'm going to save it. And it looks like I can actually move around without taking harm from the land anymore that's a nice little that's a nice little how do you do but i move around kind of fast and will the will the geyser actually do anything for me yeah okay if i can actually get on it i move around really fast i'm like i am cooking with gas now let's take on a diplocolis and they are a little bit more of an even match for me Oh yeah, defensive stance would probably work very well for that thing. I'm walking into a quite the thunderstorm here. But uh desperate attacks should get me by. I'd like to use the geyser to heal, and I'd like to buy a vowel pat. Uh I'll buy a O for K cops. Alright. So we can take on Diplocolis if we like. I'd like to maybe squeeze through here without doing all that nonsense. Oh, did I get unlucky attacked? That's uh, that's the only reason it would be very... Uh... Ooh, a def I always love it when I get a desperate attack during a, during a defensive stance. That's always a wonderful feeling. Okay, and I do slowly recover, but I always feel like afraid. Like, I want that... Oh, dang it. I saw a geyser and I got a little too excited and walked straight to a Diplocolis attack. Now I just hope I don't get unluckied. Okay, well if it's taking deep... Dang it, not an unlucky. Please no. Please no, don't die. Okay, it's holding still because it's recovering life. And being a jerk. Okay, I need you to keep taking defensive stances so I can kill you. I have fainted. So I'm still, like, I'm still in an odd zone where I can take on some things sometimes as long as I'm close to... Alright, where where are we now? I don't think I used any Evo points since my last... Oh, I think it just straight up dumps me at the bottom. I think it just straight up dumps me at the bottom of a build. So, no, we don't want to save that. We want to... We want to load our Evo, because I think I saved with slightly better stats than that. Did I not? So I'm right here. Yeah, I have better vitality and attack than I did. But... But it looks like I still have some, uh... Looks like I still have some things to work on. I need... There are things I need to work on about myself. So maybe I'll do that for the time being. I don't think we can get too very far right now. I'm going to need to do some grinding and then... Uh, actually, I don't see Eustonopterons chasing after me. It looks like they've all cleared out. 
Yeah, now that they're uh, not in the ocean anymore. Now that I'm not getting hurt by the land, they seem to have gone away. So it looks like I'm stuck fighting slightly stronger things for now. Unless that's an Ichthyostega right there. I could just kind of... Perhaps I could just kind of hang around the land. Where can I actually go when it comes to ocean boundaries? Kind of... Kind of nebulous, but I think I'm a little too far away to deal with him. That looks like a Diplocolus anyway. So I'm just going to stop here for right now. And uh, next time I will come back when I'm a little better equipped to move onward.